Hello and welcome to Your First Song, a worked example, and this is video three. And I'm showing you how to put a simple song into the Dirty Wave M8. This is perfect for you if you are a beginner. In the first two videos, I spent the time showing you how to put a simple kick drum track in and a snare drum track and hi-hats. So this is what we've got so far, these three tracks. So pretty simple, but it sounds quite nice. One slight change I'm gonna make before I move on is I'm gonna change the delay back to 3030 on the effect setting. You may remember on this track two, chain 20, that I had two snares and this one down here, this uh, the second of the two in instrument 03, I had this, if we go to it, if you look over on the delay, it's got a delay setting of 89. But if I go to the actual effect setting page, I change the delay to 10 left, 10 right for the time. I actually don't like that very much. So I'm gonna change that back. So I'm gonna go up to 30 by holding edit and up twice and then move over to this one. Now it's 30, 30 the way it used to be. I'm gonna have the feedback on 9F. I've already done that. So have a listen to it now. I think that sounds a lot better. So we can actually move on now. The first thing we're gonna to do today is to add a synth bass onto track four. Let's move over to track four and we'll press edit. Now it's gone to 30, the last one I created. So let's move that up to 40 by holding edit and up once. We're going to go into this chain 40 by holding shift and right. And we're going to create phrase 40. If I press edit, it's gone to 30, the last one I created. So I'm gonna take this up to 40 and I'm gonna make three more instances of it. So now I've got track four, chain 40, phrase 40, four times. Now let's go into this phrase by pressing shift and right and come up here. Now I'm going to create instrument 05 for this. So just gonna come over here. I'm gonna hold edit and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Instrument five, we'll come back to that in a moment. Now in this phrase, we're gonna place a C4 note on every other step like the hi-hats in phrase 30. And we'll use the fill to do this. So let's put in a C4 by pressing edit. So we've got note C4, volume 64 and instrument 05. So if I press shift and option and highlight that, then press right, right. I've now got that highlighted. Press down until the whole column is highlighted. Now if I hold option and left, the first option is every single step filled. The next option is what I want every other step filled. Press option to come out of that, go up to the top again. Now obviously there's no sound here. If I press play, you won't hear anything because there's nothing assigned to instrument five. So let's go into instrument five. It's highlighted, press shift and right. It says type none, so I hold edit, right, right, right. Now we've assigned a sampler to instrument five. We'll go over to load, press edit, and I'm gonna press shift and left to get into the view that I want. Come down to samples, press edit, down to packs, edit, down to electronic sounds, edit, and I want a bass sound. So go into bases, edit, and I'm actually gonna use the first one in the list, which is bassaces.wav. So we'll press edit to load that in. Now I want to name this, so I'm going to name it Base Ace after the original name. And I think it's a good time to save. So now we're gonna go up to the project view. We're gonna to go to uh, save, edit, save to songs. Okay, that's done. In this chain 40, we've got all these C4s on this bass sound. Let's play that. Typical synth bass. Perfect. Phrase 40 now, I'm gonna deep clone so it becomes 41 with exactly the same notes, uh, but the phrases will all also be 41. I'm gonna hold shift and option down. 
let go of option, press edit twice and that will take me to 41. So if I play this phrase now, it's exactly the same as 40, but it's playing G's rather than C's. Right, now I'm going to go back to the song view and I'm going to arrange my song so it looks like this. Now on this particular track, I'm going to have 40 and then 40 and then 41, not too far, and then 40 again. So track four will play chain 40, chain 40, chain 41 and chain 40 and I'll come back to these other tracks. So that's what our song looks like now. So we have eight bars of C, four bars of G, four bars of C in a loop. And we've got chains on step 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2 and 0, 3. I've set chain 40 to have four phrase 40s. That's good. And 41, I'll go into that. I want that to have all 41 phrases. So if I play this from the top now, You'll hear what happens. We've got four bars of C on the bass, followed by another four bars of C. So here we go. Here's the second step in the uh, song. Now it's going to go up to G. For four bars, and it's going to end back on the C note. And of course, if I don't stop this, it will loop back to the uh, the top. Like that. Okay, good. So we've now got kick drum, snare drum, hi-hats and a synth bass. Time to save. If I play this song again, keep your eye on the little mini keyboard on the right hand side. When it gets to chain 41, you'll see the blue dot change from the C note up to the G note. You can see the uh, activity on the four tracks as well. So when it drops down to 41, watch the mini keyboard. Here it goes. So there's the blue dot up on the G note there, see? And when it goes to chain 40, it'll drop back to the C note. Like that. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is add a little tune with some delay. So on track 5, we're going to create chain 50 with four phrase 50s. Now I'm going to press edit. And it's going to put 30 in the one I did last, so let's move that up to 50. Go into this chain, shift and right, press edit, and I'm going to bring this up to 50. And then we're going to create three more instances of that, like this. Go into it. Phrase 50 has already got some data in. This is because I was working on this yesterday, so it's already got the notes that I want to put in, which are C4, D4, E4, A4, B4, C5, G4 and E4 on those quaver steps. So on 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, A, C and E. And on the F step, the very last step, there's a D4. Now you notice I've already put instrument 6 on this, but if I play this, there's no sound because I haven't assigned a sound to 06, instrument 06. So let's do that. Let's come over to this. We'll press shift and right. There's no instrument, so edit, right, 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 sampler. Come over to load and press shift and left to come out of this folder. And what I want is actually synths. So I come down to the bottom folder, press edit, go into that, and the sound I want is called Kubricks. This one here, so press edit and put the sound in. Now if I press play, that's my little tune using that sound, but I've got to name that instrument. So let's come down and name it. So it's a sampler. The sample is called Sin-Kubricks. I've just called the name of the instrument Kubricks. Let's come back. Let's play this with the track, see what it sounds like. That's sounding fine. We'll copy that to the next step in the song. So edit. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to put it on the third step as well, but I'm going to clone this and make it 51. And I've put these notes in on phrase 51. G4, F4, E4, D4, C4, B3, G4, G3, and then a G4 in the end. And this is a little descending phrase 
that will work when the bass changes to G. Okay, so to be clear, I, I created phrase 50, which is this one. Okay, and then I deep clone that to 51. So if I put 51 on that step 02, that will go with 41 for the bass, and then down here I put 50 in again. So now this should work pretty well. Have a listen to how the little tune works with the bass. Go up to the top and play. So this is all the C stuff. There's eight bars of this. So here's the next four bars. And when it drops to 41 and 51, the bass will go to G and the tune will work with it. And then back to the C. Okay, pretty good. It's a bit dry sounding. It could do with a bit of delay. So let's go into this chain and we'll go to this instrument 06. And what we'll do here is we'll put some delay onto it. Now let's go down to the delay setting on the right hand side here and we'll move this up to CD. So we'll hold edit on the up button. So we get to CD, like that. Now play it. That sounds really nice. And while we're at it, let's put the reverb up to 96. And that sounds really nice, doesn't it? Okay, let's play the whole thing. Don't forget that I've applied that to the instrument so that will work for uh, chain 50 and chain 51. Now, because I'm on track 50, have a look at the little keyboard. You can see the little dot flying about as it plays those notes. Okay, final thing today, we're gonna to add a clap onto track six. On track six, we're gonna have chain 60. Inside chain 60, we're gonna have four phrases, all 60, all called 60. So track six, chain 60, phrase 60, you see? So let's go into this phrase and put some notes in. So I put a C4 on step four, step A and step C. And if I come over to uh, instrument 07, doesn't matter which step you do it on, go into instrument 07, which is what this is gonna be. There's no instrument, so I hold edit and right, 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 we get to sampler, load. Now we're gonna press shift and left to come out of this, come up to the claps, edit to go into it. And the clap I want is clap one. Load it in, name it, and we're good to go. And if I press play, we've got our little clap phrase. We'll come down to the reverb on the right hand side here, and we're going to put this up to 67, okay, which is actually 103 in decimal. what it sounds like now. So I've set the dry level a little bit louder on the clap. Let's set the whole sequence in motion, have a look at the mixer. As you can see, it's pretty hot, but it's okay at the moment. I can't really detect any clipping. So let's find, let's put that chain 60 on all 
four of those song steps to come down like that. Now I'm going to change this song a little bit so it's a bit more interesting to listen to because that's a bit boring. I'll do it quickly so you're not bored stiff while I'm ploughing through this and then we'll see what we've got. Okay, so I've created this new arrangement of the song. So when you press play at the start of this, you'll hear the kick on track one on its own for four bars, and then the kick and the snare, track two will come in for four bars, then all six tracks will come in with the various changes on tracks four and five. The two rows of empty FE chains at the end will give you time to stop the song so it doesn't loop. So now you see why we made those FE chains so we can have some empty ones to use wherever we want. Just gonna save this and we'll play the whole thing now. Admire our handiwork, here we go. So that ended up in the air a bit, but when I finish the song, once I've done track seven and eight, we'll make a much tidier ending. So that's the end of today's video. There's quite a lot there, but now we've got six tracks. We've got kick, snare, hi-hat, synth, bass, a nice little tune, and we've got some claps. So it's coming on really nicely. Thank you very much for watching, and you'll see me in video four.